Welcome to Medicine Woman Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Aquarius. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Father God, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, tell me to give a clear and accurate reading for the sign of Aquarius. If you'd like to make any donations towards my channel, you can find the link in the description section. Just as a side note, with any donation you give, if you choose to, you could ask me a question in the comments section and I will make a tarot video for you answering that question. I want to apologize in advance for any background noise you may hear due to the dog snoring, and if my voice starts cracking, I do have a sore throat, so bear with me. I scurry the yellow crystal ball for you today, and the image that showed up for you almost instantly was beautiful. It was Jesus, and he appeared like it was like a sketching, like an outline of him. And at first it looked like it was going to be the Virgin Mary, but then that faded out and it was of Jesus. So with Jesus showing up here in the uh, crystal ball for you is letting me know here that you are divinely protected. And like I said, it showed up um, kind of like the outlines of him, but you could distinctly tell who it was. And I could see the sacred heart in his chest. So that's a beautiful you know, message that's coming through that you are divinely protected and that Jesus is with you. Because there is a demonic energy that is showing up in your cards that is trying to cause you some type of problems. But I do see here that Jesus is going to divinely protect you so you have nothing to worry about. But let's get into your reading. The first card to come out for you was the ugly double card, but it came out in reverse. So with this coming out in reverse is showing that your enemies, all the evil that they're trying to do to you is going to go back on them. And that's one thing that evil people do not understand. They do not realize that all the evil that they do to others is eventually going to come back to them. And it might not happen right away, but it's going to all pile back on them all at once. So every evil deed they do, even though it might seem like, you know, they're not getting payback instantly, it's all adding up. It's going to be to the point where there's going to be no return for this individual. So they are going to get payback. And this uh, came out, paired up the exact same way yesterday. For uh, a few other signs as well was the double card coming out with the strength card. So with the strength card being here, this is letting you know that Jesus is going to give you strength over your enemies. And it's interesting because I always shuffle my cards thoroughly and I let the cards flip out the way they want. So it's interesting that this keeps coming out the same way. Like I said, other, uh, other signs got this uh, same kind of message here. But with the strength card being here, Jesus is going to give you strength over your enemies. The lion represents that Bible verse uh, where it says the devil goes around like a lion roaring, looking for someone to devour. But if you look here, this woman has a lion by the mouth. So Jesus is going to give you strength over your enemies here. He's going to give you power over the devil. And the next card out for you is the king of wands because God is going to put you on your throne, your crown. You're going to have your high rank. The king of wands represents someone that's fiery tempered but loyal and, you know, you have this, like, passion about you. So with the King of Wands being here, this is a very good energy. And you're going to have, like, dominion and power over your demonic enemies. And the next card out for you is the Six of Cups. So the video clicks off. I will make the second half of the video. And you have the Six of Cups, which represents someone from your past. So I feel like this person that is in this demonic energy is someone from your past. This could be someone that is related to you. This is someone that you have known for a very long time, whether a relative or a friend. But whoever this person is, is someone that you have known for a significant amount of time with the Six of Cups. The next card out is the Emperor. Emperor has been coming out a lot lately, too. So with the Emperor being here paired up to the Six of Cups, I feel like this is someone that is from your past that could possibly be a masculine figure. This Sometimes the emperor represents a father figure. So take it how it resonates. So I feel like this person could be like a tyrant type energy, demonic energy that's trying to cause havoc in your life, but Jesus is going to give you power over your enemies. Next card out for you is the seven of coins. So with the seven of coins being here, you're being told to keep planting your seeds, keep putting in your blood, sweat, and tears, and know that it is going to blossom for you, whatever it is that you are trying to manifest. Next card out for you is the Queen of Wands. So with the Queen of Wands being here, we have a pair here. We have the King of Wands to the Queen of Wands, which is a soulmate union. So you are going to have your soulmate that is going to be coming to you. If you're not already